Hi, this is Christine with Digital Come Up. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your website mobile friendly. So the way I did this with my company website is through a plugin called WP Touch. Um, and there are multiple ways to do this, but WP Touch worked best for uh, my website and my needs. Um, so to get WP Touch, you can go to your plugin section and add a new plugin. And you should search for WP Touch. And this is what the plugin will look like. Uh, as you can see, it's already installed for me. So you'll just install it. And then once it installs, make sure to activate it. Um, and then once you have it activated on your dashboard sidebar, you can scroll down and it should appear right here on the side. So I'm going to start off in the core settings section um, to show you what you can do with WP Touch. Um, so just the general core, setting, course, core settings, you can um, change the title of your site that displays for mobile visitors. This is really useful if you have like a long website name and you want to shorten it so that it looks um, more mobile friendly, it may, maybe have it fit just on one line on the width of the screen. Um, you can choose to display or not to display the WP Touch um, powered by in the footer. Uh, you can set your language. It will auto detect, but you can set it manually if you want. Um, you can choose who sees the mobile theme. Uh, so you can have all visitors see it, you know, everyone who accesses your site via mobile, just your site admin or nobody. Um, and these two you might want to use when you're building out your mobile site. So, or if you're making edits to it, you might just want to turn it off while you're doing your tweaking. Um, this landing page feature here, this is something that, um, uh, one of the reasons really that I decided to use WP Touch instead of another option. Um, I wanted more control over what my uh, visitors saw because my, because my homepage isn't really mobile friendly. It has that big slider, it has um, you know a lot of widgets on it and it didn't really translate well to mobile. So I wanted my visitors to see something more, um, more customized and cleaner. So I have it redirect to a page and I have it go to my news page. So as soon as my mobile visitors click on the link to go to my site, they will see my most recent content. And I'll show you what that looks like later. And you could choose to go anywhere. Any of your pages can be your, um, your landing page. Uh, you can also have your mobile visitors choose to, um, you know, click a link and go to your desktop view. You don't have to do this. I do it just because there's content that I have on my desktop site that I don't have on my mobile site through WP Touch. Um, it doesn't look as good, which is why um, I didn't put those pages on my mobile site. But you know, if people really wanted to access those pages, I wanted to give them the option to. So I, you know, I have that link there for people uh, if they choose to see the desktop view. So those are your core general settings. Your compatibility, um, this might be more advanced advanced settings. This is just for the pro, so I'm not gonna really get into this. Um, themes and extensions. So with WP Touch, I just use the free version, uh, and that comes with one theme, that's this Bauhaus theme. If you decide to buy the pro version, there's a few other themes that you can activate. Um, but as I said, I work for a company that has a limited budget. Uh, our, our initiative doesn't have extra funds, so I just stuck with this free version. Um, and theme settings is where you can get into more of the nuts and bolts of the customization. Um, there's quite a lot of things you can do. So the general tab here, um, this lets you choose how many posts uh, people see in the listing. So I have it set to five. You could have it have more or less, you know, depending on what you're looking for. Um, excluded categories. This is another thing I really like about WP Touch. So part of my website is um, just for the partners only, only for the people that are working on the grant, just a place for them to post to each other. So I don't want the public to see those posts. And those posts have the category of two. So if I put this here, you know, WP Touch knows, okay, I won't pull those private posts onto your public mobile site. 
So I appreciate that about this. And you could do the same thing with tags if you have tags that you don't want the public to see. I just happened to set mine up with a category. Um, you can choose how your comments look from your mobile visitors. You can choose how your thumbnails look, um, what thumbnails get displayed, um, and you can choose what extras are posted, what like extra data is posted with each post. Um, you can have a search in your header bar on the mobile screen. And this uh, I also set to news because I still wanted it to be my home page, um, but I also wanted it to be my custom latest post page because my news page has all of my publicly available um, blog posts that relate to the project. So it made sense for me to have that as the news page and the post page. But again, you could set if you have a blog page separate or you just want a specific page of posts to display as your post page, you can customize that here too. Um, you can choose how the comments display, whether you have them on pages, allow or disallow Zoom. Um, you know, some of these are just pro features, but you can really customize this. Uh, the featured slider that shows on the post page, you can kind of set that up however you like as well. And now I'm gonna take you over to branding. So the branding lets you customize, you know, based on your brand's theme, um, based on your color scheme, you can change the colors of this. All of these are customizable. It gives you kind of a palette um, well, it gives you theme colors, but you can also choose the palettes. You can really make it whatever you want. So all four of these are customizable colors. If you have a logo, you can upload it here. You can customize your footer um, to say whatever you want. And you could use HTML as it says. And these are some pro features. You can set your typography to be whatever you want. Um, if you don't like the default font style, feel free to change it. And you have some sharing options, both whether or not to show it, where to show it, above, below the post, um, and what color is to make the, the sharing. And then also in your footer, you can input your, um, your social media uh, profiles, and it will have a link right there so people can connect with you. Some of these are pro only, but a bunch of these are available just for the free user. I'm going to take you over to the bookmark icons. So this will display, um, if you have an icon that you use for your site, which I have right here, you can upload that. Um, web app is all pro features, so I'm not going to really get into that, but if you pay for the pro, you can uh, use that. And the same with advertising. So the last thing I'm going to show you is menus. And this is a helpful, um, a helpful feature also with WP Touch. So you can choose what menu you want to display. And WordPress pages I just chose, but I customized it. Um, my main menu is the one that displays on my desktop, but that wouldn't really work as well for my mobile site, so I chose to do a different menu. And you can have some options. You can use icons. You can enable all the links, uh, the items as links. So I'll show you what the icons look like. So you have kind of a choice of um, icons over here to choose from. And these are all of my WordPress pages. But as you can see, only some of the boxes are checked. And that's because only some of these appear on my mobile menu. So, and the reason for that is, you know, some of these pages aren't really mobile friendly. Um, and I didn't really want to overwhelm my mobile visitors with a ton of pages, a ton of content. I kind of wanted to trim it down and make it sleeker. Um, you know, it's mobile, it's smaller. I wanted to just make my site a little smaller to fit that format. Um, but as you can see, you can totally show or hide whatever you like. So I, I just have my about, my contact page, my discussion forum page. Um, there's an online brochure that describes everything about the project, um, a subscribe page, hopefully to get more subscribers to the blog, and then um, a link to the teaching manuals, which are some of the products that our partners are putting out. So that's all that the visitors would really see. Um, and I guess I should also mention that you can upload your own icons or you can uh, install. There's some other options. If you don't like the ones that it comes with, you can um, install some additional icons. 
So now that I've explained how to kind of set your WP Touch site up, I'm going to show you what mine looks like. And you could do this at any time, but I'm just going to preview the theme now. And a little mobile size window will pop up. And this is the home page. Uh, as I was talking about, it's my news page. So it shows a slider. And on your mobile screen, you can swipe this. This is swipeable, so people can swipe through my five most recent posts. And they could also scroll down and they'll see a photo from the post. That's just the featured photo. Um, you should check and make sure it sizes properly. You can tell I'm not as um, diligent about that, but you know, be better than me and make sure that your photos look good. Um, but it shows you know, the five most current posts. People can load more entries or they can you know, click on one. And uh, this is what the, um, the post page itself will look like. You can see I have some social share buttons up here. The featured photo is up here. Um, but it looks nice, it's clean, it's on this mobile friendly template. You can choose to have your related posts displayed. Well, actually this displays on my desktop, so I think that's why that's here. But, um, you know, the comments look nice. And I will show you the menu. Yes, and you can see you can search here. Uh, but that's the menu on the right. And these are the pages that people can see on my mobile site. So just for example, I'll take you to the subscribe page and you'll get a, get a glimpse of what that looks like. Just a simple, you know, clear call to action page. Um, the teaching manuals page. We have two teaching manuals currently publicly available. These are both clickable. Um, I'll show you the online brochure. This actually looks really nice on the mobile site. Um, people might need to zoom in a little bit, but just to, at a glance, it looks pretty clean and, and mobile friendly. So that is how to use WP Touch to make your site mobile friendly. Um, it's been really easy to use uh, for me, and I think it really enhances the look of my website. Just as a reminder, I'll show you my homepage, and you'll see it's, it would be really overwhelming to see this on your phone when you, you know, click on a link. There's just a lot going on. It's fine for a desktop, but for a mobile site, you know, I wanted something a little sleeker and a little cleaner. So I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed my video tutorial on how to use WP Touch to make your website mobile friendly. Thank you so much for watching.